Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today I have a makeup tutorial on this look right here. It is my no foundation makeup routine. I've been using this makeup in my actual real life for months now and in a couple of YouTube videos. Of course, like any tutorial, take the parts you like, change the parts you want to change, please. Creativity is highly encouraged. But if you wanna know how I got this, keep watching. Right now, all I have on my face is skincare. I have toner, face cream, eye cream, and I always put a lip balm on before I start. My secret combo for a no foundation makeup is these three items here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. You need this in your life. The Kiehl's Glow Formula Skin Hydrator and the By Terry Brightening CC Cream. And this is, I believe, in Sunny Flash. First, I take the Charlotte Tilbury and on my hands, clean hands, I just wipe the wand onto a finger. That's really all I use on my whole face. Next is the Glow Hydrator and I use pretty much almost a full pump. And then the Sunny Flash, it depends on what state of tan I'm in but I will just add in like a little half of a pump or a quarter of a pump right now for where my skin tone is. And then I just mix this all up and rub it all over my face. I don't like to put a lot of product ever on my forehead if I can help it because I have these lines that makeup tends to seep into and I just conceal where I need concealing. That way I prevent looking cakey. So make sure you get near your ears, blend it down. I want things that are low maintenance, but also things that throughout the day will last. I can touch up, I can touch my face, and I don't have to worry about like if I itch my jawline that like I have a huge scratch mark in my makeup. What the combination of those three items does, it gives me slight coverage from the Charlotte Tilbury because it is slightly tinted, but it's mostly the glow that I'm taking advantage of in this no foundation look because it is reflecting off of my skin in a way that blurs imperfections. It kind of evens out my skin tone a little bit. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Light Capturing Self Setting Concealer. Mine is in the shade 33. I'll leave all the shades listed down below as well as the products I'm using. I just take this once. I get under the eyes, primarily right where the majority of my darkness is. I hit the nose, just down the center because that's really where my redness is. And then it depends on the redness on the rest of my face. Sometimes I'll just kind of take three dots of concealer just on the cheek area where I do have redness. I can spot conceal a tiny bit, maybe a little bit on my chin if I'm feeling a little extra. So I'm just taking my fingers, tapping that in. I want to look put together, I want my skin to look even, but most importantly, I want my skin to look like skin. So if any small, you know, hyperpigmentation pieces or in the summertime, like if I have a freckle, if that's showing through, I'm fine with that. My main goal is to just cancel out some of the excess redness and get my skin glowing. And then for the under eyes, I'm just gonna take my ring finger and just tap that out, bringing it down slightly. And then I like to bring it into the inner corner here because a lot of times we have darkness on the inner corner right there. And just by putting a little bit of coverage there, it makes a massive difference. Another thing I like to do is bring it onto my lid, my brow bone. You can still see some of my veins, but it is just more even. Another thing I try never to do is to bring my concealer right to the lash line. When I'm wearing a full face of makeup, it's super unnecessary because I'm usually smoking out my lower lash line and the less product there is, the less likelihood of it building up or cracking or caking or whatever. But also I feel like on days when I'm just not wearing a lot of makeup, it looks more natural. And then same thing on the other side. So now I'm going in with two ColourPop cheek highlighters. I like to use creams and liquids as my base and then go in with very little powder just because I feel like they wear better through the day and as they fade they don't fade quite as patchy. I have a wisp and flexitarian so I'm going to go in with wisp first and I'm just going to tap that and bring it around my brow bone and I'm using a combo of pressing motions and 
like small swiping motions. Now you can totally use brushes for whatever you want. You can use a sponge. I also like the way cream products perform with my fingers. And then I'm gonna take it flexitarian and just hit the highest point of the cheek there and then blend it up. And then blend up and blend down just so you get more seamless edges. Next, I'm taking a cream bronzer. This is from Milk Makeup. It is their matte bronzer in the shade Blaze. I just take this again on my finger. I get the forehead and blend it into the hairline so that everything looks like it's just your natural skin. And then build up on the cheek. And even with the bronzer on the cheek, I'm taking it up and around to the temple and back into the hairline so that it looks like a natural glow, but also gives you the natural shape of your face. Same thing on the other side. And I am blending this up into the highlight because I want it to look like skin, really. I hate when highlight just looks like a stripe a little bit right here, but also on the double chin and then I think I'm going to build up the tan just a little bit more especially over here on this side and then I want to kind of take it across my nose so that it gives the effect of me actually being out in the sun and then I'm taking wisp and just popping it on my cupid's bow and then slightly right here on the bridge of my nose and on the tip of my nose. For blush, I'm going in with the Nude Sticks Cream Blush in the shade Naughty and Spice. Just warming it up a little bit on my finger and then adding that to the apples of my cheeks and working back. And again, I'm blending this kind of over the bronzer, over the highlighter, and just melting it all together so the finished effect is just a really glowy cheek. As I'm blending it just with whatever's left, I'm just going to take that across the nose and then onto the forehead, just kind of patting it into the rest of the face for a little extra color. I'm using the Hourglass Mineral Veil Loose Powder and an e.l.f. blush brush, three bucks, can't go wrong. And I'm just taking a little tiny bit and I'm going to set under the eyes first. And I would use this powder very sparingly just because you don't really need a lot, especially with a look like this. I have not had the need to touch up this makeup ever. If anything, if I like fall asleep or if I'm in a plane, I will just take like my bronzer and my highlighter, my powder products and just touch up. And all I'm working out of is the cap. So whatever's on the cap is really the only amount of powder that's on my face. And I'm just in really light layers building that up. I hate putting colored powder products right on top of creams because it always skips and gets muddy and patchy on me. It just doesn't work. So I like to have a really light base of powder and this powder is amazing. It's so super fine, but it doesn't make your skin look dull or flat. Like you can still see all the glow that I've put into the skin. So now I'm going to go in with bronzer. This is Hoola from Benefit. I just slightly start building it up. And this is a Morphe M406 stippling brush. And I like to start near the hairline and then build up to the cheek. So I feel like getting the cheekbones here first and then blending down makes it look more like I'm really tan, which is always my goal, let's be honest. The stippling brush is great because you can really get in there and not have to worry about it picking up too much product because it has 100% density up to a certain point and then about... 60 to 70% density the rest of the way, so it's picking up a slightly less product. It has a little more give, but you're still gonna be able to get good coverage and amazing blendability. And then again, I'm just dusting over my nose. If you have a lot of neck and chest showing and your face looks significantly different than the rest of your body, definitely bring all your makeup down onto the rest of your body. I usually, when I'm doing this, will just take my bronzer and just pop some onto my neck, 
not for coverage but more to give my very yellow undertones some warmth. So this here is another secret weapon of mine when I'm doing this makeup. It is the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette. I'm pretty much just going to douse my face in this at this point. I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush and I'm going in with the gold shade and I'm pretty much going over everywhere that I put the ColourPop highlighters. I definitely am heavier handed with this because you can never have enough glow. Plus, it just looks like skin. It's insane. Look at that. I then take the white gold shade when I am this shade. If I'm darker than this, I wouldn't take the white gold shade, but since I'm not, I'm just gonna go over what I put down because I don't want the gold to look like a dark stripe on my face. So we're just going to custom mix pretty much a highlight. I am going to take my finger and just hit the bridge of the nose, tip of the nose. Same combo. I went in with the gold and now I'm going to go in with the white gold. And then I do like to take the gold one and just run it under my brow bone for my highlight there. This is Laura Mercier Chai Blush, and I'm taking a Morphe M427 and really getting in there. And then I'm going to concentrate on the apples of my cheeks and move back. So I'm basically layering powders over creams in the exact same way, just to give myself longevity and also to build up the glow that I'm looking for. So again, we're using the blush kind of to blend the bronzer and highlight together. And then I'm just gonna dust whatever is remaining over my nose, brow bone, chin. Now I'm going back into the same Morphe M406 brush and I'm taking my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Finish Powder. Mine is like on its last leg. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and buff everything out. If you're unfamiliar with what I just did, it's called the buffing technique. I learned it from Wayne Goss like years ago and it really changed my life with regards to my makeup because it just makes everything look so seamless and skin-like, but I can still see all the color, all the glow. I can get away with being a little heavier handed with all my color products because I'm gonna go back in with this. And that's also why I like to use powder in very thin layers because I know I'm gonna do this. And even this is super lightweight, super thin. My face doesn't feel or look powdery at all right now, but it's locked in. So at this point, I like to go back in and add some glow back usually. So I'm gonna just tap into the gold and the white gold together. Amp that up right there. And I am just gonna take a little more of the bronzer just to more or less blend out the bottom edge of that highlight. And also because I love looking super, super bronzed. <laughs> a lot of times I will just take the same brush, go into my bronzer and squish the brush flat and pop this into the crease just for a little bit of definition and then lashes, brows, I'm good. Now, if you wanna amp it up a little more, you can go back into the Dior Quad and on my pinky or a tiny brush, I just take a little bit, pop it into the inner corners there and I like to just bring it up and out a little to add some light. And then the most dressed up I go with this kind of a look is kind of a bronze smoky eye. So I like taking this pencil from Nude Sticks. It's in the shade Immortal. And I'll just run this along my lash line, real sloppy. And then I'll take a buffing brush. This one is from Pat McGrath and I'll just Buff that out and slightly extend it at the outside. And by outside, I mean the outer corner of my eye. I like to seal it all off with this bronze shade from the Dior palette. It is what my bronzed go-to smoky eye dreams are just made of. So I'm taking my finger, press and tapping onto the lid. Look how pretty that looks. And then I build that up because I really love how like 
glossy and like reflective this can look. And then I'll just take a little bit of the powder onto the same brush and blend it up. Just so that it's really like a blown out look. And you can absolutely at that point take some of whatever's left on the brush, put it on the lower lash line. So for brows, two main products for this kind of a look. It's the Glossier Boy Brow and the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I go in with the Boy Brow first and I brush up and I concentrate the majority of my tinted product on the outer half of my brow because I don't like a lot of product on the inner part. I like that area to look really light and fluffy and I will comb it backwards slightly, like a little bit up and back, just to deposit some of the product. Same thing on the other side. You wanna use a really light hand though because this can deposit a lot of product. Yep. That's the goal. So I'm taking the 24 hour brow setter and just combing my brows up and out. That is just the look that I like. And then same thing on the other side. If you want to, at this point, you can go in and just take a look and even things out where you feel like something was looking a little sparse. And also a clean spoolie works really well to clean up any areas that you feel got a little too pigmented or random baby hairs that caught brow gel that you don't want. This is my go-to. It is the Fenty Gloss Balm in Fussy. And I will just really lather my lips up. The current spray that I'm using is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I let that dry before I do anything with my lashes because I hate when you put mascara on and then you put setting spray on or mist your face and the mascara transfers, it's just really unnecessary. The mist really hydrates and just kind of melts everything together, but I don't want my T-zone to start off looking super oily because it is going to get to this point by the end of the day and I don't wanna to have to powder up later. So I will just take the same elf brush that I use for powder and hit my skin real quick. There isn't any powder on this besides what was left from earlier, but you can always go back into like the Charlotte Tilbury powder, grab a little, and just get the areas that you know are going to be oilier as the day goes by. For my lashes, I will usually just really load up on the mascara or I'll pop on falsies. Today, I'm gonna use the Lash Paradise. So this here is the finished look with lashes. I'm wearing Lily Lashes in the style Goddess. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave me a comment down below if you try a look like this. Um, I would love to see it, so DM me on Instagram your looks. But also, if you have any products that you like to use for your no makeup makeup or no foundation makeup, please leave those in the comments also because I would love to test out some new goodies. But until my next video, thank you as always so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you soon. Bye.